probably left the pickup at about 3,000 feet elevation right now. I'm, I don't know, close to 6,000 feet elevation. And cut a bull elk track. I've been tracking that thing all day. Ended up jumping him. So I was working my way back. And I jumped a nice mule deer buck. And I was pretty bummed. I didn't get a shot. And he did a loop around me. Actually, if I would have stayed put, I would have been able to shoot him. But he did a big loop around me to see what I was. I don't think he winded me. Just spooked when a doe spooked. So I started tracking him. Tracked him for about an hour. And then I thought, well, this is pretty pointless. I'm getting wore out. This thing's doing circles on me. So I stopped, ate some lunch. And... Started my, working my way back down to the last place I thought the buck track went. Sure enough, I looked down the hill and he's standing there looking at me at about 200 yards. So I just, pretty quick shot, I didn't have time to record or video, but my scope was all fogged up. All the snow falling out of the trees, I had to wipe my scope, flip the safety off. Trigger was actually a little froze up, just from snow be between the trigger and trigger guard. So I had to pull the trigger pretty hard, and it was about a 200 yard offhand shot. He just did the hop, like kind of almost looked like a heart shot hop, but I wasn't exactly sure that I hit him and took off running, we just disappeared. Came down here and I got blood. This is where he piled up, it looks like. And here he is. Don't know what he is yet. Don't really care. I've been wanting to get something. He looks really heavy though on the base. Definitely a shooter for this country. Let's see what he looks like. Oh wow. Really good buck. Don't pass up deer like that in this country, I tell you that. That is a great buck. Nice and heavy. Sweet, I'm happy with that. So after Travis got his Montana buck, now it's time to focus in Idaho. We decided to split up to hire our odds and success, but shortly after we split, Travis spotted a nice buck with a group of does. He turned on the GoPro and snuck in close. I came over this way because I was wanting to, there was one more little opening. I wanted to glass a little bit lower than the deep snow. And unfortunately, I mean, I'm super excited, but unfortunately I didn't get great video with the camera because we were split up. But I got to this tree right here. And I kept just focusing on those openings through the trees. I wanted to, I was looking for a spot to get there and I, all I saw was antlers sticking up above this blowdown down here. And at first, my first, Reaction was I already shot a nice buck in Montana. So it's gonna have to be a pretty nice buck for me to shoot it And we're a long ways up here to pack it and at first I was like, ah I don't think it's a shooter. I could just see one main beam frame wise wasn't huge frame And I saw a sticker out the side and those always get me when you see some trash. They're actually feeding on that fresh blowdown And I just pulled up like that and between those two trees shot And I waited for Tom to come meet me, and so let's go take a look, see if we got him. It's a bucket. I think those are his bouncing tracks. I think I you see his horn sticking up right there, just to the left of that stob. Well, got my deer tags filled. Shot my Montana buck uh, here a couple weeks ago, and now my Idaho deer. I drew a special uh, early deer tag, they call it, but it goes um, for like three months, but this is actually the general deer season, so 
shot this on a general season with my tag because it's my season is still open as well and couldn't pass this buck up I he had a tree right on his face that he was peeking out from and when I initially saw him because we're a long ways back it had to be a decent buck I wasn't gonna pack a, just a dink off of here um, I saw this kicker uh, oh sweet he's got a kicker and then I had to walk a little bit to see this rack, but I could never see both antlers at the same time. And then I saw this crown and it was a definite shooter to me at that point. But super excited and we, um, this mule deer, a lot of people don't like to eat them and sometimes they do get pretty rutted up, but my wife and kids just love the canned meat. So we, I did bacon wrap, um, tenderloin and back straps on the bat, on the last buck I shot and it was excellent and then my wife uh, we debone the rest of it my wife cans the rest of the meat and it takes the gaminess away kids just devour it but super excited to have my deer tags filled both nice bucks and now i can focus on montana elk another meal Packed off the top of a mountain. So as we continue to give you free content to watch, all we ask in return is to give us a like, subscribe, and hit the bell to stay updated on our newest hunting episodes. Thank you for watching.